distribution per unit DPU in the current accounting period as well as the following term and beyond is as follows. The forecast value for the 38th fiscal period ended November 30th, 2020 was 2,650 and we have increased this by 30 yen to 2,680 yen. This reflects the effects of our cancellation of purchase of own investment units. In addition, for the 39th fiscal period ending May 31, 2021, and the 40th fiscal period ending November 30, 2021, expected DPU has been increased a further 120 yen to 2,800 yen. This increase means three things. First of all, we have sufficiently controlled the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Second, the initiatives such as asset replacement we have been carrying out continuously up until now have been effective. Finally, since our accumulated internal reserve has exceeded 5.3 billion yen through our gain on sales, we will be implementing returns to all of our investors not just as a one-off measure, but in a continuous form. The increased DPU expresses those three things. This expected DPU of 2,800 yen also exceeds the DPU target of 2,750 yen we established exactly one year ago. While steadfastly clearing our objective, we also want to indicate that this is merely a point we're passing by, not the end goal. Next, I'd like to summarize the management status forecasts for the 39th and 40th fiscal periods. In the 39th fiscal period, we have already executed contracts for the sale of HF Takanawa residents with an expected gain on property sale of 405 million yen. Although the HF Takanawa residence is favorably located within central Tokyo, 18 years have passed since they were built, and as a result, the facilities are less competitive than they once were. For this reason, we have taken effects such as gain on property sale into consideration and made the decision to sell these properties. On the other hand, we acquired the HF Ohori Residence Bayside in Fukuoka in the 38th fiscal period and the Torio Building in Sendai in the 39th fiscal period, and our rent income is expected to continue increasing. Also, since we have high interest loans which are reaching maturity, we expect to achieve reduction in interest expenses alongside refinancing. In addition to these conditions, since our internal reserve has reached 5.3 billion yen, we have increased our forecast DPU for the 39th and 40th fiscal periods by 120 yen to 2,800 yen. Please confirm the midterm target DPU. As shown, we still have internal growth capacity, expense reduction capacity, and external growth capacity remaining. On the internal growth front, although our growth speed has been blunted by the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, we will continue making thorough efforts to improve. As for external growth, only the full-year contributions of properties we have already acquired in the 38th and 39th fiscal periods are shown. Our pipeline is steadily accumulating, and we expect a larger result than the figures shown. Although we have issued an estimate of 2,800 yen for DPU, which exceeds the midterm target, we will strive to further increase with EPU as a base, working toward announcing a new midterm target at the next earnings announcement.